Hi, I'm Ray from the Hard Ones, and you're watching Disillusion TV. <laughs> good friends with them and uh, I, I one day we were talking about you know hipsters do you have hipsters in France yeah we do, in Sydney it's full of hipsters and um, we were making fun of hipsters but I, I said to the lead singer Jason I said but the hipsters not your enemy you know he's not really your enemy we can make fun of them but the the enemy is maybe you know the Catholic Church who have sex with children? You know, that's the enemy. And he said, well, that's really uh, a good thing to say. He said, I'm going to write a song about you. And I said, yeah, sure. And he did. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Yeah, um, I like a band called Wicked City. It's a, it's a powerful trio. They... Um, they sound a little bit like the Melvins, you know, so it's not typical punk, but it's incredibly powerful, almost progressive rock. Yeah, and there's, there's another band called Clowns. I don't know if you know this band, Clowns. I think they toured Europe before, and they're really good. There are lots and lots of good bands. A lot of really good bands haven't toured Europe. Uh, there's a band called Baby Machine. They're fantastic. Three, uh, three um, women from um, one hour from outside Sydney. There's another band called uh, High Test. They're also from um, one hour outside Sydney in the, in the south. They're three piece, three three really nice guys and really powerful punk rock. Yeah, lots and lots of really good bands. Yeah, we're just going to record one this year in November and it'll come out maybe early next year. Well, our lead singer is back, the original singer. He was the drummer and he was our singer and he's, he's come back. So I think it's a little bit more melodic because he's a little bit more of a melodic singer. And uh, it'll still be uh, some really heavy stuff. So again, a mixture of really heavy and some melodic pop. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're, we're, we're lucky because we were friends for a long time. I met um, the other guys in the Hard Ons when I was um, 10. I was maybe 11 years old when I met them. So um, I'm now 53, so I've known them for a long, long time. So our friendship uh, existed before the band. So we're not uh, arguing ever in a band. We don't argue about things. We know how we uh, operate. So it's a very comfortable. We don't always spend time together. We all have different interests in life. We're very different people. We, we you know, we all we're very different people. So uh, we don't we don't really fight. You know, it's good. Yeah, and we have really good ideas about music but our band is not like a democracy you know it's a uh, it's like um it's like, like a dictatorship our band so the guitar player does this the songwriter does this the singer does this we don't really share too many ideas we have really strong ideas about what we want to do and there's one leader in this department and uh, it's not a democracy we don't sit there and uh, say, oh, we want to play my song, I want to play my song. We don't do that. We just say, this is my song. You know, we play it, you know, and um, and we just, it's hard to explain. We, we, we know what our job is, you know, we don't, there's no ego, for example. No, I, I think my best memory is, um, uh, playing with uh, the Ramones because uh, the singer Joey was a Hard Ons fan and he asked us to go to all the shows in Australia with him and we played every show in Australia with the Ramones in 1991 and probably that's probably my best memory because the biggest influence for me for playing bass was the Ramones so yeah that was my favorite memory for the Hard Ons.